and welcome to Hacking the Exile, the shows that give you the extra material you need to really appreciate the Exile 6E webisodes. Today I'm very happy to introduce an, an old acquaintance from the show, Julia Reda. Hello. Hello, welcome to uh, Hacking the Exile. Well, thanks for having me back. Well, it's a long time since you've been uh, in Brussels, but you were actually in some of the early episodes. Yes, uh, I was an intern about a year ago, so I was uh, in the first season and, uh, well, I've been visiting six months ago, but I don't think I appeared in an episode at that time, but uh, that's the last time I've been here oh, in yeah, Parliament. And we, and we filmed you for that as well. I think so, yeah. maybe. <laughs> Sadly enough, everything we film uh, don't really make it into the episodes. Uh, fortunately for the viewers, I think, because otherwise they will have to watch uh, XL60 episodes all day long. We film a lot. Uh, but uh, what were you actually doing when you were here? Well, uh, one of my major tasks was uh, to organize a trip of young pirates from Germany to the European Parliament and to have a uh, kind of diverse program, having them meet with different stakeholders and MEPs from different parties. Um, of course, the German Pirate Party is not in the European Parliament yet, so it was very interesting for them to get in contact with MEPs from different groups and to see what the possibilities are for, for the Pirate Party in the future. And uh, apart from that, I um, was accompanying Amelia to a whole lot of uh, policy meetings and taking minutes on the meetings and uh, preparing um, well, the results for her. So I got a glimpse into a lot of uh, different policy fields, especially in her um, ITRE committee. Uh, Which is the industry committee. Yes. So, uh, and I was also involved in organizing events at the European Parliament, such as uh, book releases and uh, these kinds of things. Well, uh, I, can, uh, I can easily tell you that then you're basically doing the same thing as most interns have been doing, uh, except organi organizing visits because uh, we don't have that many visits and most of them are organized by the young pirates back in Sweden uh, and not by someone here. Mm -hmm. But uh, this, so let's move on to, to present time. Why are you here? I mean, I, I'm, of course, I'm very happy to have <laughs> you here, but, but how come you're, you're here in Brussels? Well, I'm always uh, very happy to come back. Well, uh, this time, this is actually another uh, visitors group uh, organized by Umpirat, the Swedish Young Pirates. And, uh, well, this time, young pirates from a whole bunch of different countries have come to Brussels. I think all in all, it's uh, seven countries, if you count the Belgians. And our goal is to uh, prepare the uh, founding of uh, organization of Young Pirates of Europe. So this is supposed to be the umbrella organizations of all young pirate organizations in Europe. And uh, so far we have on board uh, the Swedes, uh, Finland, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg, France and uh, Czech Republic. I hope I didn't forget anybody. But basically um, what we're going to be doing is um, talk about the statutes, like how the organization is going to be set up. That and sounds incredibly boring. No, not at all. I mean, uh, it's really facilitating all the stuff that we've been already doing for years. Like, for example, we've been having uh, summer camps by the German Young Pirates where we always invited people from other uh, countries, like, for example, the Swedish or the Finnish Young Pirates. And it's the sa they have been doing the same thing, really. So um, it's really a lot more useful and easier if you have some kind of organization that can um, well help organizing this youth exchange because I think it's really a, a very important aspect of the pirate movement is that it's international and um, so I, well one of the main things that I have gotten out of it is to, to get to visit a lot of uh, different countries and meet people in the pirate movement from other countries and for that it's very useful to have an organization like that. Now I, I accidentally happen to know that you're also involved in, in the formation of, of a similar organization but for the pirate parties of Europe. Yes. Would you say that the process has been more or less the same or is there any differences in, in approach between the young pirates and adult pirates? Well, um, I think first of all, it's probably a lot more difficult to found a real uh, European party because there's a lot more regulations that you have to follow than if you're just uh, a youth organization that can pretty much decide how exactly they want to uh, be uh, formed. And also the Pirate Party had to um, 
include more uh, countries in, Why is in that? the founding process. Well, uh, mostly because there are already more pirate parties established. There are relatively few European pirate parties that already have a youth wing, and some of them, like the French or the Belgians, um, they are just founding young pirates just so they can then join the uh, young pirates of Europe. So it's also, I think that's one really nice side effect of founding the young pirates of Europe is that it's providing an incentive for uh, young people in the pirate parties to organize themselves. And so, um, yeah, but we have a, a couple less countries to start with. So I think we have a much easier position than the pirate parties. But perhaps um, not as fun. I mean, more different countries must bring much more different views into the process, which must make the discussions uh, more entertaining. Uh, more entertaining, yes, but perhaps not quite as efficient. I mean, uh, my hope is, of course, that all the European pirate parties are going to have uh, youth organizations at some point, but uh, then the organizational structure will already be in place and they can just join YPE, but we don't have to negotiate the statutes with something like uh, 20 different organizations. And, and YPE uh, is the name of the Young Pirates yes, of Europe. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, well, I think... Uh, it's, it's great to have them all on board once they are founded, but it probably doesn't make a lot of sense to include uh, um, the countries that don't really have a Young Pirates organization so far. So, uh, will this be the whole week just discussing statutes? No, it's actually just one day and um, a lot of the uh, Swedish Young Pirates that are coming uh, to Brussels are not actually here for that reason. Uh, we have just kind of uh, tagged along to have our statutes meeting on Thursday. And uh, well, before that, we're going to have a lot of uh, stakeholders meetings. I think one of the major topics will be the uh, data protection regulation. And uh, well, we're also going to be at the local hackerspace and do a crypto party. So just the kind of stuff that young pirates like to do. You will actually also meet uh, the German pirates oh, from yes. northern Westfalen. Oh yes, I forgot about that. Yes, um, uh, as I understand, they have uh, well the the MEPs, the pirate MEPs, have more um, direct connections to the uh, uh, North Rhine Westphalia pirates now, so there are going to be some kind of regular meetings. Uh, well, they. They are coming here for, mm -hmm. for one of their meetings and while they're here they, they're taking the time to meet with our parliamentarians from the European Parliament yeah. uh, to see how we can cooperate uh, more uh, closer together in the future given the fact that the distance is, is quite, uh, quite small. Yes, exactly. I think this is a, a very good idea because every uh, state in Germany of course also has a, has a um, committee on European affairs and uh, since we don't have any MEPs in the Bundestag uh, yet, I think it's very good that the state MEPs, especially the ones that are dealing with European affairs, are more in contact with the MEPs. And well, I think we'll be meeting them tomorrow. And well, I uh, know most of them already, but I think it will be uh, very interesting, especially for, for the people not from Germany, who are not uh, dealing with them all the time, more or less. Well, hopefully there will be one or two episodes from the week as well, for, for the XL60 webisodes, uh, and then we will get to see you there. And if, if we don't see you there, we will still see you in the summer episodes, uh, which we filmed back at the General Assembly of the German Pirates. Oh, yes. Uh, in Neumarkt, in, in uh, Bavaria. Yes. Uh, so you were there uh, doing some sort of counting of the votes. <laughs> yes, uh, well, the thing is, um, of course, German Pirate Party has something like uh, 35,000 members and every member can just show up to the General Assembly and vote if they want to. And, um, well, not all of them do that, of course, but I think it was well over a thousand people that were there. And so, of course, you need a lot of people uh, counting the ballots. and. Uh, we didn't have any uh, elections for the boards or, or anything like that, but we had a lot of uh, quite controversial uh, decisions on our um, platform for the national elections in September and also on the issue of uh, whether and how we're going to have uh, online decision making. So there was a lot of votes to be counted and since you need about at least 100 people to help with that, I figured since I wasn't... Uh, fulfilling any other role at that particular meeting. That's what I was doing there. So everybody has to contribute, I guess, uh, in, in an event like that. Well, hopefully we will see you in the episodes. We filmed quite a lot at that event. Uh, Amila was there making a speech, which we will see in one of the episodes. 
Uh, and uh, if we don't see you there, well, I think we might see you there, actually. I will talk with Tess, who <laughs> makes the cutting, so we can have a star well, appearance. if I'm not in it, you can just cut me out of this uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, and so then... Nobody will be confused. Yeah, that, that, it will make perfect sense, suddenly seeing you in the middle of our, you know, interview with me, and then back to the... Uh, scenery there. No, I meant you can cut out the part of this interview where we are talking ah, about... Ah, yeah, but this interview uh, will be sent today. Oh, so, so it's it, too it, bad. Then, then, I mean, we have invested some money in time machines, uh, but the technology is not just there yet. So, uh, hopefully the Swedish Pirate Party is more open to the idea of time travel, because the German Pirate Party refused to uh, allow time travel at their last Annual conference. They refuse to allow time travel. Well, not exactly allow it, but they voted against the proposal that would actively, um, well, improve the chances for time travel. What was the proposal that would improve? I mean, I'm, I'm very curious. So. Well, it was like the Pirate Party supports time travel, so they can go back in time and reverse a bunch of very uh, unfortunate decisions in the history of the party, basically. So you would only meddle in the history of your own party? Well, we were not even met in the history of our own party. Oh, but if, if you had approved of this yeah. uh, proposal, you would have met in maybe we did. I'm not sure anymore, but otherwise I can just go back in time and change it. Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if you approved it, this will never happen. Exactly. So it's, it's not really a problem. Or maybe it will. All depending on how, how, how there, much there are probably the future different, you are. Uh, time. Yeah, yeah, that let's let's not go there. Uh, there are a lot of TV shows you can watch if you want to ponder upon the problems of time travel. Uh, They're all, all very good. I especially recommend Doctor Who, if I may, because now you can't cut it out. Well, I can. <laughs> well, he could cut it out. Uh, I suppose yes. But uh, yes, you're actually free to advertise whatever you want uh, here. Oh. oh, now I remember. We we did uh, vote for time travel, but we voted against peaceful colonization of Mars. Why are you against peaceful colonization of Mars? Because we Do you didn't want a have violent time. Colonization uh, of no, Mars? We, di we didn't have time to discuss it because we uh. didn't implement time travel. Well, I think you should discuss some with the Swedish Pirate Party about this because the Swedish Pirate Party are pro uh, investing in uh, space research. That's a very uh, good position. I support that. And uh, Amelia is actually. Uh, currently working with a, a dossier on, on space debris to regulate space debris on a European level. Hmm. So uh, we might uh, revisit space in the future, episodes so. of, uh, of this show. Or move there permanently. Move there, yeah. You should sign up for the Mars One project. Uh, Are you trying to get rid of me? Well, not in the near future, but let me know. But you can't come back. <laughs> that is a minor setback uh, as far <laughs> as I see it. Uh, anyways, uh, we will talk more about space in the future. I'm very happy to see you here. I hope you have a great week with the Young Thank Pirates. You. Uh, and you will all see us again in two weeks. Thank you for watching.